Hey guys, this is Shubham, and today I'm going to discuss about pharmacodynamics, which is a very important aspect of pharmacology. What is pharmacodynamics? So pharmacodynamics is the effect of the drug onto the body, or in other words, you can say that how the drug acts to the body. In pharmacodynamics, while discussing about pharmacodynamics, I will basically discuss about these six things. First of all, I will talk about receptors, then I will come to the agonist, and uh, I will discuss some points about the agonist, and then antagonist, and then dose, about the dose, how we give to the patient, and uh, then therapeutic index or therapeutic ratio, and then lastly, I will discuss about tolerance. So, in pharmacodynamics, if we talk about the drug that how it acts and uh, elicit an appropriate response in our body so for example this is our cell membrane and for example this is the nucleus and this is our cell membrane and here I have drawn the receptor this is the receptor site And here, for example, here it is the drug. Any drug. So first of all, receptor. Receptor is the protein which are present over the cell membrane or cell wall. And uh, these receptors are very specific to the chemical messengers. Chemical messengers like neurotransmitters, many kinds of hormones or drugs. We are talking about pharmacology, so I am taking drug. So these are drugs specific. So different drugs act to the different receptors and elicit different kinds of responses in our body. So for example, this drug, the patient takes the drug and this drug will bind to this receptor. Now what it will do? This drug, if this drug will bind to the appropriate receptor site, then it will form the binding complex and after forming of binding complex it will elicit or produce a response in the into the cell and the cell responds accordingly according to the patient need now if we talk about the receptor families there are four kinds of receptors we have and the receptors are First one, we have ligand gated ion channels. Second, we have G protein coupled receptors. Third one, we have enzyme linked receptors. Fourth one, we have intracellular receptors. So different drugs act on the different receptors and elicit or produces their responses. Further, I will talk about, we have already talked about the receptors, how drug acts on the receptor and uh, produces their response into, into our body. And now I'm going to talk about agonists. But before I go, before discussing about agonists, we should know about some terms like we should know about some terms like what is specificity. What is affinity and what is intrinsic activity? Or efficacy? So 
specificity is the complementary of the drug with the receptor. Means like which drug should be bound to which kind of receptor, that one is specificity. Affinity is the bonding of the drug to the receptor. And intrinsic activity or efficacy is the pharmacological response of the drug into our body. So agonist, if we talk about agonist, it is a chemical which binds to the receptor and produces the response. While antagonist, it is the it is also a chemical, but it restricts the binding of the agonist with the receptor. Means it won't allow the agonist to bind to the receptor and uh, produces any kind of response. So I will talk about antagonist later, but first let me discuss about agonist. So about agonist, I have talked about agonist. Agon After that, we have partial agonist. Now what is partial agonist? Partial agonist have good affinity, which means they can bind to the receptors properly, but what they don't have, they have weak intrinsic activity or efficacy. Like agonist have intrinsic activity equals one, around one. But if we talk about partial agonist, partial agonist have intrinsic activity about zero to one. So they bind to the receptor properly, but they won't be able to elicit an appropriate response or they would elicit a weak kind of response. While we have inverse agonist, inverse agonist also have good affinity, but again, weak intrinsic activity or rather I should say negative intrinsic activity or efficacy. These, these kind of agonist have intrinsic activity below than zero, means negative. So, these are agonist, partial agonist, and inverse agonist. These are the differences between these, these kinds of terms. And now I would like to discuss about antagonist. Before really discussing about antagonist, I would like to tell you about the, some kinds of agonist. There are actually three kinds of three kinds of agonist. First one is summation. Second one additive. And third one is synergism. These are kinds of agonists. So, what is summation? Summation, summation is whenever the drug have two drugs have same responses but different mechanism of action, and their combined effect is more than the individual one. We also termed as termed it as one plus one, which means that two drugs have same responses but different mechanism of action produces much quality effect. And if we talk about additives, additives have two different drugs but with the same mechanism of action they produces the response. In summation, we had two drugs with different mechanism of action, but in additives we have two drugs with same mechanism of action. While in synergism, there are combined effect of drugs, but those two drugs combined effect is more than the individual one. So we term it as one plus one equals three, which means two, two drugs, two combined drugs would have higher quality of effect on our body rather than individual one. So after discussing agonist,
I would like to talk about antagonists. Antagonist, as I have already told, told about this, that this is also a chemical, but it won't allow to bind agonist to the receptor and produces the response in our body. So there are two kinds of antagonists, rather I should say pharmacological antagonist. These are competitive antagonist, competitive antagonist or specific antagonist. And we have non competitive or non specific antagonist. Competitive antagonist, it binds to the receptor and won't allow the agonist to bind to the receptor. For example, again, here we have cell membrane and uh, here we had receptor site. Okay. So here, for example, we have agonist and here we have antagonist. So this agonist will bind to the receptor site and won't allow and won't allow agonist to bind to the receptor. However, in this situation, if we increase the concentration of agonist, it would help this kind of situation. While in non competitive antagonist, whenever this antagonist will bind to the receptor site, it won't, it won't be disturbed, it won't disturb, this, uh, disturb of its self position and uh, agonist would not be able to bind to the receptor and it would be so strong that if we increase the concentration of agonist it won't help the patient so these are the differences between competitive antagonist on, and non-competitive antagonist now some words about dose what is dose Now, dose you have heard very often in your life, dose is actually the amount of drug which should be prescribed to the patient for helping the patient situation. For example, um, 4 to 5 grams of piperazine is enough to accompany roundworms infections. Now dose we have many kinds of dose. So for example, there is single dose, there is daily dose, we have total dose, we have loading dose, maintenance dose. So in single dose, we give, we give a drug to the patient that is enough to get rid of any kind of infection. For example, I gave the example about 4 to 5 grams of piperazine is almost enough to accompany with the roundworm infection, for example, Ascaris, Lubricates. And about daily dose, we give a drug to the patient in 24 hours duration whether we give it at once in all the time and uh, whether we give the uh, drug with the divided dose but we give it in within 24 hours or one day 
That's why it's called LJD dose. Total dose, it is the maximum amount of the drug that is required to get rid of, it, to get rid of the infection. So it is the maximum amount of drug to accompany with the infection or uh, with the duration of the disease. Now, what is loading dose? Loading dose is a dose. It is the actually it is the heavy dose which is required to accompany the steady higher plasma concentration of the drug. And uh, the maintenance dose. Maintenance dose is normally followed by the loading dose because maintenance dose is to maintain the higher concentration of plasma, higher concentration of the drug in the plasma rather. So maintenance dose is followed by the loading dose. After discussing all these kinds of doses, I would like to discuss something about therapeutic index or we call it as therapeutic ratio. So what is therapeutic index or therapeutic ratio? Therapeutic ratio Therapeutic index is the ratio of the drug which is toxic in 50% of the population. The ratio of drug which is toxic to the 50% of the population and the drug which is effective in 50% of the population. So I would like to make a concept of therapeutic index by the graph. For example, this is percentage of population. And here is dose. So for example, here here is for example, it's the therapeutic dose. Here we have toxic dose. And this one is, for example, fifty percent. This one is hundred percent. This is. effective dose and this is toxic dose in 50% of the population. Okay. So, it is the, so what is therapeutic in the therapeutic index is the difference between this therapeutic dose and the toxic dose. So, for example, this one we have, we have therapeutic index. So it is the ratio of the dose which is toxic in 50% of population which is this one and the rate to the dose which is effective which is this one. So it is the comparison between these two terms. And at last we have tolerance. Tolerance is nothing but a decreased body response to the drug which is followed by at regular intervals of time means a, for example a patient is taking a drug from for, for a longer time so gradually his body would show some tolerance to the to the towards the drug means the person was not would not be able to elicit the proper response the response which he was eliciting at the starting of the drug so with these terms i would like to conclude my topic so Thank you very much.